Welcome into your News at 6. A coalition is forming in Orangeburg to address a growing homelessness issue in the city. It's after the city council proposed an ordinance that would make it illegal to sleep or live in public places like parks or streets in downtown Orangeburg. Our reporter Ashley Jones is in Orangeburg tonight to tell us more about it. The urban camping ordinance would have made it illegal for the homeless to stay in public places like on the streets or in common areas like this in downtown Orangeburg. The city administrator tabled that ordinance because key stakeholders in the city said they have a better way to address this homelessness issue. And we're only a 40 bed facility. We can only house 40 residents and we stay full. Henry Miller is the director of the Samaritan House of Orangeburg County, the only shelter from Charleston to Orangeburg. You see Orangeburg growing, and as Orangeburg grow, the homeless population is going to grow. Miller says since the shelter reopened back in August of 2020, they've housed more than 400 people. But in the last two months, they've had to turn away more than 120, leaving those people with nowhere to go but places like this parks, sidewalks, and other public spaces. It was never meant to be punitive or certainly don't want to punish people for being homeless or anything of that nature. That's just not who we are as a community. The city administrator is referring to the urban camping ordinance. It was proposed after city leaders received numerous complaints from residents about the growing number of homeless living on the streets of downtown. Now, some time ago, the city repeal this loitering ordinance and so there was really no I guess statutory way to to address address it. The urban camping ordinance would have given law enforcement the authority to fine and take other action against homeless found living in public spaces. Think about this if you're homeless you don't have money to pay a fine. No it's hurting. If you're homeless you're homeless so I can go to jail right and y'all can take care of me instead of just letting me sleep in the park. This man didn't want to give his name, but says he's been living on the streets of downtown Orangeburg for about three weeks now. I work. If it's cold and it's raining and you can't sleep under a structure, you have no choice but get a motel. So you get the motel, you buy something to eat, that's your day's wage. It's gone, so you can't, you can't save up to get off your feet. Now, the coalition is said to have their first meeting on October 24th. From there, they'll begin to discuss how to combat homelessness in the city. Reporting here in Orangeburg, I'm Ashley Jones, WIS News 10.